How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video and I hope you're doing well, you're keeping safe wherever you are in the world. And in my hand is the new Huawei P40 Pro and the question that I get asked all the time is can you actually live with it without Google services or what is it like to use without Google services on there? Uh, well, the good news is you actually can and uh, I've put together some applications that I use or apps. I've put them in folders so we can go through them and see the ones that you can use on here as an alternative. Uh, a lot of this you can port over using phone clone applications, very, very easy to do. Uh, also some you can get from the websites directly onto your devices, so you're not going to miss out at all. But without further ado, without further chat, let's go through those applications. I've even put them in folders, uh, something that I never ever do on my smartphones for anyone who knows me. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through them and see what you can actually use, what you can download and stuff like that. Let's get on with it. So as mentioned before, you can use phone clone app, so if I just tap that, you can see the devices available to you. So you can move apps over from your previous Huawei devices, other Android phones, and you can use iPhone or your iPad as well. So you can just plug them in or wirelessly transfer applications over. Very easy to do, very straightforward. Um, if I go over to App Gallery, in App Gallery, there's so much you can find in here. Uh, so applications for, if you go into categories, you can see like games, books and references, business, all kinds of things that you can download and actually get going with Huawei mobile services. Just before I get into the application folders as well, uh, some of these apps I use to phone clone to move over, for example, all my photo editing apps, I use phone clone app to move over like Lightroom, Snapseed, uh, Lens Distortion and SKRWT, as you can see there. Uh, social media applications, uh, a lot of these are downloaded through App Gallery. They were already there for me to download like uh, TikTok and Snapchat. Uh, and so on. And in messaging as well, again, it's the same scenario. I just downloaded them directly. WhatsApp, I moved over using for, uh, my phone clone application. I just went straight directly through to the phone, which is pretty cool. Uh, so here map, I downloaded from App Gallery on here and lots of these apps in the utilities were the same scenario. Another couple of applications that I moved over uh, using phone clone is BT Sports and SkyGo, uh, which means I'm able to access my Sky package uh, on the go and also watch sports via BT Sports on the go. So if we go across here, um, we can go into the setup that I've got here. So I've got news and entertainment. So if I go into news and entertainment, I've got the times, which I can use to read my news all the time, whenever I want. I've got ITV Hub, uh, which is for watching catch up stuff. Uh, so if I wanted to watch a, a TV show, I can do that on there. I've also got BBC iPlayer. Um, BBC iPlayer means I can catch up again on uh, shows, uh, programs, whatever it is that I need to do. Uh, go back in there again. I got Audible. I got Eurosport uh, player, which is used for my sports. Again, I'm into football. Unfortunately, there's no not many uh, sports on at the moment, but that's something that I'd use. I've even got my Spotify loaded on here, so I can I can listen to my music on the go. Connect my Free Buds three onto the smartphone and listen to music on the go. So again, all those essential applications that are there for me uh, to use wherever I need to do so. If I don't want to use uh, Spotify, there's always a music application on here, uh, which uses Huawei Music uh, services, part of the Huawei mobile services. Uh, so with Huawei Music, um, I can get playlists, um, I can download albums like I normally would. Uh, so you can see that you've got a big library of music available to you that you can download whenever you need to do so or listen to them on the go. You've got stations as well, so a bit like playlists that's been uh, collated together for you to listen to uh, music based on genres or whatever you like to, to do. For more entertainment, you also have Huawei Video, which includes 50,000 titles and included in that is around 30,000 free videos that you can watch as well. And it looks really good. Uh, you can search for whatever you want. You have some great blockbuster movies on there that you can search for and watch on the go. If we come out of that, we can go into utilities. So this is my utilities folder. So this has got applications that I'd use uh, to find things or uh, to, to, to shop online, for example. So I've got PayPal, I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, you've got Skype as well for communication, so I can use that to chat to people on the business level. Uh, you've got Dropbox, uh, which is really good. With Dropbox, it means I can share files between my, uh, my laptop, my other devices. You've got Airbnb there as well. So again, I can use that to search for places to stay when I'm traveling. You've got Facebook, Amazon shopping. Uh, they all load pretty well, works just as they normally would on any Android smartphone. Uh, coming out of that, I've also got Shazam. Shazam is really good for me. So if I find a song that I really want to hear, uh, that I want to play back later on, but I don't know who sings it, I can use that uh, to, to you know search for a song and save that to my phone. Next is my messaging uh, folder. So this has got the basics. So I've got 
uh, Facebook Messenger. I've also got WhatsApp on there as well. These are the basic messaging apps that I use uh, on a daily basis. So again, it's good that they're there for me to use. Using Phone Clone app, I was able to move over BBC iPlayer, ITV Player and Audible. Uh, again, very straightforward and they just work on here as it normally would on any smartphone. Applications such as browser, those are preloaded on the phone already. So these are based on Huawei mobile services. And I can even swipe all the way, I can swipe all the way to the end here to see my uh, assistant as well, which tells me things like my favorites at the top for contact, uh, shows me the latest news based on my preferences as well. So you can just, uh, I can easily use that whenever I need to do so. I've even got the email app on here as well, which allows me to check my emails on the go. And this syncs with Google Mail very well. So if I just tap that inbox, I can see my unread. I can see all folders as well, like I normally would on Gmail. So I can see my VIP box, my uh, other folders there that I've set up normally, uh, which is pretty cool. If you also like to edit your videos on your mobile phone like me, uh, some applications that you can also use Phone Clone to move over uh, include Snapseed, Lightroom. I also use one called SKRWT, which basically means screw it. And um, basically using that app, you can use it to straighten your applications, change perspective and all that kind of stuff. For those that like to have applications like Snapseed or Lightroom, all that kind of stuff to edit photos, it takes a bit of getting used to, but you can still edit photos on here as well. For example, if I tap this, uh, that's a photo that I've taken on this smartphone. There's a built-in editing application on there, editing suite, so I can just click edit. And uh, if you go into remove reflection, you can do that by, if you take photos via a window, for example, you can remove reflections on there. You can edit brightness. I can do uh, all kinds of stuff on there. I can adjust manually as well. So I can do contrast, saturation. I can increase sharpness, decrease sharpness, uh, change my highlight like I normally would on Snapseed, for example and shadows, the hue, uh, I can even change it to black and white completely if I really wanna do that as well. Uh, and it's got filters as well, so you got all sorts of filters on there and you got cropping of, as well, so you can crop it into different formats. So again, this is more than enough for everything that I normally do when it comes to editing my photos before I end up uh, posting them on Instagram. And if you're also wondering about mapping system, there's also ear maps, which you can use to navigate. It works with biking, uh, works with walking around, using normal navigation if you're driving, that kind of stuff. Very easy to use as well and very responsive. Moving on to gaming, you have some really good games available as well, like Fortnite's available for all you Fortnite, uh, Fortnite heads out there. You can download that straight away from the app gallery as well as uh, Asphalt 9. Those are two favorite games that I play on this smartphone itself. Uh, so if you went into app gallery, uh, you can just search directly from here, so you can do Asphalt. And you can see that it's available there. I've already downloaded it, so it's already on my smartphone. And if you wanted um, Fortnite, you'd have to download it via Epic Games. Uh, so what you have to do is do Epic Games. You can download Fortnite from there. And it's, it takes uh, a, bit of, a bit of time to download all the files and stuff, but once you've done that, uh, the game is there ready for you to play. And it works really well thanks to this nice uh, and amazing display as well. For social media applications as well, some of these are moved over uh, using phone clone applications. So you've got Snapchat, uh, you've got TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. So applications like TikTok, you can download directly from App Gallery. Uh, so if you go in here, we can search for TikTok and it's already there. So you can download that directly from the App Gallery. Snapchat can also be downloaded as well directly from the App Gallery and you can even update from there as well if you need to update it, just like you would on any Android smartphone. By the way, if you're on TikTok, make sure you follow me on there as well at Gadgets Boy. Uh, I do put some content on there uh, every now and then. In that social media folder as well, let's not forget Facebook. And uh, that's an app that's already available. Uh, you can just download that using App Gallery, which, which then takes you uh, to the official page uh, to download it. So inside App Gallery, you can do uh, Facebook search on here. And then it, tops, it comes up right at the top where you can use, it to use uh, that link to download the application itself. Another app that I really, really shout about online, uh, if you follow me on Twitter as well, it's Elf. Uh, so Huawei Health app is very robust in terms of what you can do and what you can see, the, the amount of data that's available as well. Again, if you're uh, someone who's into your health uh, and sports and exercise, that kind of stuff, if you have the Huawei Watch GT2, for example, like I do, it means I can download all my uh, training uh, exercise record on here. And it's very, very detailed in terms of what you can see. So I can even see my map, my route that I did. Uh, scrolling up, uh, going into speed, I can see my speed, I can see charts over time, see my heart rate, maximum, average, all that kind of stuff. Altitude, uh, details, there's so much that you can see on there, including sleep uh, uh, data as well. So if I wear it to bed, I can see my sleep information as well. So again, you've got that there to use. So whether it's uh, health for your training, whether it's for business purposes like emails, whether it's uh, listening to music, whether it's social media, whether it's gaming, you have all the applications available for you on there. 
and they work really well and very, very fast and efficient, just like it would on any smartphone, uh, any Android smartphone, if not better on here. Just in case you miss it as well, if you go into App Gallery and you go into your profile, there's a wish list area where you can add your favorite applications uh, that aren't available yet. And once they become available in the App Gallery, you get notified as soon as you can, uh, as soon as they become available for you to download. So that's it for the Huawei P40 Pro and all the apps that I use on a daily basis. Uh, guys, also bear in mind that any applications that's not available yet, you can always submit them in there. So whenever they become available in the app gallery, you'll be notified as well. So you'll be able to download them and start using it. But in the meantime, if you've got one of these already or um, you have any tips or any applications that you use already, do let me know in the comments below so I can check it out uh, as well. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions, drop them there as well, let me know. The Huawei P40 Pro is actually available to buy now as well. So if you guys are interested, there's links in the description area so do check it out uh, but in the meantime if this is your first time on the channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know uh, whenever there's a new video on the channel thanks for watching see you guys in the next one